first problem natin, si Pepper daw ay cute na Shih Tzu dog, walks along a straight line, positive x direction. Pepper's position as a function of time is x of t is equal to 45 plus 3t minus 0.06t squared. Sa letter A, find Pepper's initial velocity, initial position, and initial acceleration. So ang instantaneous velocity, sa last na video natin, siya yung slope of displacement versus time graph or siya yung dx over dt, instantaneous velocity. Ang instantaneous acceleration naman, ax, siya naman yung slope of instantaneous velocity versus time. So, in equation, siya ay derivative ng velocity over time, dvx over dt. Kapag nirelate natin siya sa distance, second derivative na siya ng displacement. First derivative siya ng velocity. Solve natin yung vx or dx over dt. So, yung equation natin, ito, kunin natin yung first derivative niyan, 3 minus... 0.12t yun yung first derivative nya second derivative naman, ito na yun derivative ng velocity ito. derivative nito ay negative 0.12 yung unit natin, naka centimeters tayo, kasi dito, 10 centimeters centimeter per second squared yun na yung instantaneous acceleration, initial position muna tayo, no? na when t is 0 substitute natin sya dito sa equation natin, para makuha natin yung position So, x of 0, 45, 0 to, 0 na din to, 20 is 0, 45 centimeters yung position natin. Tapos, yung velocity natin, vx to, 3 minus 0.12 time is 0, sagot natin dito ay 3 centimeter per second. Ang acceleration natin, so constant, negative 0.12 centimeter per second squared. Letter B, ang tanong sa letter B ay, at what time t is the velocity pepper 0? So, equate lang natin yung vx is 0. vx is 0. So, ang equation niya ay ito, equals 3 minus 0.12t. Lipat yung 0.12t dito, plus 3 na dito. So, t ay 25 seconds. Letter C. How long after starting does it take Pepper to return to its starting position? Ang starting position natin ay when x is 45 centimeters. Ito. When x is 45 centimeters, equate natin siya dun sa pinaka-equation natin. Ito. 45 equals 45 plus 3t minus 0.06t squared. Cancel yung 45. Lipat natin sa kabila. 0.06t squared 3t tapos divide natin 0.060 0.060t ang t ay 50 seconds after 50 seconds bumalik siya sa starting point letter d at what time t is pepper a distance of 10 cm from its starting point so dito dagdag tayo ng 10 ganun din dito 10 So, ang total nito ay, ilan na yan? 55 na. Papunta dito. Ito naman ay 35. So, makukuha natin siya. X is 35. At saka X is 55. So, when X is 35, equate natin siya. 35, 45, plus 3T, minus 0.6T squared. 0 na to. 10, plus 3T, minus 0.06T squared. Quadratic equation siya. Sa quadratic equation, may technique dito para mabilis siya sa calculator. Turo ko. Press nyo yung mode, tapos EQN, number 5, tapos yung number 3, quadratic equation. Tapos, ano natin? Yung una is negative, to, 0.06, negative 0.06, t squared. Tapos, ang sunod natin is ito, 3t, positive 3. Tapos, ito ang 10, positive 10. Binigay siyang, you know, ang t ay 53.1 seconds. Tapos ang isa pa ay negative. So, wala naman tayong negative na time. So, ito yung kukunin natin. So, ganun din dito. Equate natin siya, 55, 45, plus 3t, minus 0.06t squared. Giging 0. to negative 10 na, plus 3t, minus 0.06 t squared. Ganun ulit. Balik ulit natin. So, negative 0.06. So, ang 3, 3 pa din. Ito, negative 10 na. Yun, 46.4. t natin ay 
53.4 seconds. When t is 53.1 seconds, ano ang magiging velocity natin? So, ito, dito, substitute lang natin. Velocity natin ay 3 minus 0.12 times 53.1 velocity natin ay 3 minus 0.12 times 53.1 sabit natin ay negative 3.4 centimeter per second tapos ito na yun ito naman vx 3 minus 0.12 times 46.4 vx natin ay 3 minus 0.12 times 46.4 negative 2.6 cm per second so yun naman ang tanong niya is velocity ang tanong a negative, ibig sabihin papunta dito, pabalik siya puntang west so ganun lang siya no? tandaan natin na ang instantaneous acceleration ay derivative ng velocity tapos ang velocity naman ay derivative ng displacement next problem natin the car accelerates from a stop sign travels for 20 seconds at a constant speed of 60 kilometers per hour and then breaks to come to a stop 40 seconds after leaving the stop sign the graph shows the velocity of the car as a function of time so ito yung graph natin so may ito ay velocity ito naman ang time tanong sa letter a compute the average acceleration average acceleration Sabihin natin ganyan yung symbol. Yung kanina is instantaneous acceleration. Ito naman ay average. Instantaneous kasi divide siya yung slope of Bx versus time. Ito naman, average, change in velocity over change in time. Convert muna natin yung 60 kilometers per hour. 1 kilometer ay 1,000 meters times 1 hour ay 3,600 seconds. Direct na siya. Cancel tong hour. Cancel yung kilometer. Meter per second na lang yung matitira. Sagot natin dito ay 16.67 time 0 to 10 seconds. Ito, papuntang 10 seconds. So, titingnan mo lang siya sa graph kung ano yung mga values na yun. So, AX ay dito. So, itong value na to ay diba 16.67 minus from t 0 to 10 seconds 0 minus 0 to over change in time naman ang time natin ay 10 minus 0 velocity natin ito 6, 60 kilometers or 16.67 minus 0 kaya ito yun yung time naman natin 10 minus 0 sagot natin dito ay 1.7 yung sa 2 naman to from 30 seconds to 40 seconds 0 minus dito so, 0 minus 16.67 over 40 minus 30 seconds ito yung time, ito yung velocity magiging sagot natin dito ay over 10 to negative 1.7 per second squared pala squared so bakit negative sya? kasi ito negative slope pag negative slope, so negative yung acceleration diba? kasi is, ang slope ay siya yung acceleration slope ng Vx versus time graph 3 naman to from 10 seconds to 30 seconds to 30 minus 10 seconds na to ang 30 ang value niya ay yung 16.67 minus 10 seconds ang 10 seconds ay ganun din 16.67 sagot ay 0 ang 4 ang tanong niya ay 0 to 40 seconds 40 second minus 0 ang velocity nyan ay 0 minus 0 din ang velocity sagot ay 0 so, titingin ka lang sa values na nandito sa graph ang tanong sa letter B what is the instantaneous acceleration at t 20 seconds and t 35 seconds letter B at t is equal to 20 seconds so ang Vx natin ay so tingnan natin siya sa graph dito at 20 seconds ito Ito siya, constant, or naka-zero yung slope natin. Tama. Kasi ano lang siya, horizontal. Ang Vx natin dyan ay constant. Constant siya yung ano, 16.67. Ang acceleration natin ay yung slope dito. Ang slope niya ay zero. Bakit zero? Siya ay horizontal. Horizontal slope. So at t, last na tanong niya ay at t at 35 seconds. Tingnan ulit natin siya. At 35 seconds, dito siya banda. Yung slope niya, negative. Kasi pag ganun, na ano, pababa. 
'di ba kapag ganyan yung line natin, negative slope siya. Tapos straight line siya eh, na negative slope. So ang acceleration natin diyan ay pababa, ito, negative. Kasi naka-negative slope tayo, 1.7. Negative 1.7 meter per second squared. Ito na yung sagot natin. Next problem natin, a race car starts from rest and speeds up east along straight and level road. For the first 5 seconds of the car's motion, the positive x component of the car's velocity is given by vx of t is equal to 0.92 t squared. What is the acceleration of the car when vx is equal to 11.8 meter per second? So dito yung formula natin na ang instantaneous acceleration ay derivative ng velocity over time. So, i-derivative natin tong equation na to. Ang derivative niya ay 1.84t. So, when Vx is 11.8, so, equate natin dito, 11.8 is equal to 0.92t squared. Ang t natin, makukuha natin siya square root of 11.8 divided by 0.92. Ang time natin ay square root of 11.8 over 0.92 3.6 or 3.58 seconds so when t is 3.58 seconds substitute natin dito so ang acceleration natin ay 1.84 times 3.58 acceleration ay 6.59 meter per second squared Last problem, a bird's velocity as a function of time is given by Vx of t is equal to a plus bt squared, where a is equal to 3.5 meter per second, b 0.15 meter per second cube. Calculate the average acceleration for the time interval t is equal to 0 to t 5 seconds. Solve muna natin yung letter a. So average acceleration delta Vx over delta t. Tapos, ang instantaneous acceleration kasi natin ay derivative of velocity. When t is equal to 0, vx ay 3.5 plus, ang b natin ay 0.15 t squared. When t is 0, so ang vx natin ay 3.5 meter per second. When t is 5, vx ay 3.5 plus 0.15 times 5 squared. 3.5 plus 0.15 times 5 squared. Sagot natin ay 7.25 meter per second. So, ang average natin na velocity, ang delta Vx natin ay ito, 7.25 minus ito, 3.5 over 5 minus 0, yung time. Sagot natin dito ay 7.25 minus 3.5 over 5 yun, 0.75 meter per second squared yun yung sagot natin sa letter A letter B, calculate the instantaneous acceleration for T0 and T5 seconds kunin natin yung uh, first derivative nya, ito 2 times 0.15 is 0.3 T ito na yung first derivative, 0.3 T letter B, when T is 0, instantaneous acceleration ay 0 din. So, when t is 5, instantaneous acceleration ay 0.3 times 5. Sagot ay 1.5 meter per second squared. Yan. 0.3 times 5. Letter C. Draw vx to t and ax to t graphs for bird's motion between t 0 and 5 seconds. So, gagawa tayo ng graph. When t is 0, nandito yung 3.5. When t is 5, 7.25, nandito siya. Tapos yung equation natin is naka-quadratic. Naka-curve dapat tayo dito. Pag ano yung graph niya. Kasi quadratic. Yung graph naman ng ano, acceleration. Ito yung time. Ito yung acceleration. When t is 0, ang acceleration natin ay 0 din. Ito. When t is 5, ang acceleration natin ay 1.5. Ito. When t is 5, nandito siya. Tapos yung equation natin ng acceleration ito, first degree lang yung t. So, equation of the line lang to. So, ganito lang yun. 
Ayan, yan yung sabot natin. Naka, Naka-curve kasi, naka-squared yung equation natin sa velocity. Ito. Ito naman, naka-straight line lang kasi yung equation ng acceleration natin, ito. Naka-line lang siya. First degree lang yung exponent. 